All right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K21 Next Gen information is pouring out, man. I'm not even going to lie to y'all. Operation Sports just dropped their blog, uh, part one of three, and they're talking about the pro stick shooting, they're talking about pro stick dribbling, and they're talking about passing, and a whole lot more. So make sure that you like the video, because everybody needs to get this information and YouTube links the likes to the notifications so if you don't like the video then people won't get the they won't get the notifications they won't even know that i'm putting videos out and we don't get to grow etc etc so please like the video it helps us grow helps me out a lot and it keeps me motivated to keep making these videos for y'all man and i also got a jump shot for you guys this evening one of the smoothest jump shots i've ever put together but other than that man hopefully y'all uh find this whole thing very informative and let's get right into the video if you make it to C25, that's OG status. I was told you could be anything, just don't be average. Down bad, flat pipes, that shit made me a savage. Start hustling nonstop, don't plan on breaking that heavy. Alright, so we just gonna go through this right here, man. I got a couple of couple of videos for y'all to watch in the background this is before you know i changed myself up and all that good stuff brute still playing with the point forward all that stuff but that's not what we're here to talk about talk about today what we're here to talk about today nba 2k 21 next gen gameplay blog and they're talking about one something that's near and dear to my heart and that's the pro stick dribbling and uh pro stick dribbling pro stick shooting and passing all that good stuff man we're going to try to highlight the very important parts and i'm doing this thing raw just off the cuff so hopefully um you know i'm going to leave the link to the blog down in the description but what i want you guys to do is take a look at what we got here and um you know let's just let's just go over it and take a look at it and all that good stuff so right off the bat i'm just going to show y'all you know we got it's a pretty extensive and lengthy joint man what i'm going to try to do is summarize it as best as i can but not skip over anything that uh um, that i feel like is like super important and uh you know and not try, try to not block out as much of the gameplay as i possibly can so <laughs> it is what it is man look after revealing the nba 2k 21 next gen um gameplay trailer yesterday 2k continues pushing out more more uh next gen details today with the latest courtside report uh, you know, like like we really don't need need the whole need this whole thing. Uh, but it says in today's in today's blog, NBA 2K21 gameplay director Mike Wong, aka Baluba, uh, aka Baluba, goes over the fundamentals uh, in the game, including the pro stick shooting. And now that's why we're showing pro stick shooting right here, including pro stick shooting, pro stick dribbling, passing, and more. And so uh pretty much this is what we got man pro stick shooting pro stick is prob the pro stick is probably the most obvious gameplay difference uh if you're if you're familiar with nba 2k basketball and it's been great seeing it great seeing it adopted by both pro and casual gamers alike on current gen with the next gen console we will we were able to take shooting and dribbling with the pro stick to even greater heights and give and give you more tools to to score the basketball uh here but well, you see you see me shooting the ball uh and and give you more tools to score the basketball here's a look at some of the uh, here's a look at some of the new innovations you can look forward to and like i said man i was one of the first people actually i was the first person to adopt the pro stick man it's it's period period point blank everybody else said they weren't gonna do it i said look i'm going to use this joint i'm gonna master it and uh right now i'm a i'm a stretch five and i'm shooting 65 percent in the park and it's only going up up and up and like this is just me being like i'm gonna do this i'm gonna figure this thing out and uh and hopefully it'll work for me at this point i'm using the pro stick and i don't want to go to anything else i just don't trust the button at this point i feel like if i'm using the pro stick i can hit the shot a lot better that's just how i feel it's, it's like i can control it a lot better i don't know if that's the case or not but i mean look at this take the shot tee it up boom and you're seeing some of these joints man where i'm, I'm a little bit off center you're seeing me move it you're seeing me uh get excellent time and all this stuff right there man so like it's, it's one of those things where i've mastered this thing and i really feel like if everybody else would take the time out in order to um in order to do it look gambit mastered it brute has mastered it and it's just making those guys shoot a lot better but anyway let's uh let's go on to what what else they were saying uh this is just says shot art control shot art control 
Uh, shot aiming is one of the big changes we've introduced this year. I wish I had this thing on dark mode, man. Y'all know how hard it is to read stuff in light mode when you're trying to read stuff. But anyway, shot aiming is one of the big, uh, biggest changes we've introduced this year. Uh, being able to both time and aim your shot is a fresh new skill. Uh, is a fresh new skill to master, and it and it's helped us widen the skill gap with shooting. It definitely has, because I'm shooting, I'm shooting lights out, and a lot of people have some trouble. But you know it is what it is. But um, you see, aiming works by pulling the pro stick down to the start uh, to start the jump shot. The speed of your pro stick uh, movement dictates what dictates whether the ideal aim point will be on the. Uh, ideal aim point skews to the left or to the right on the uh, on the shot meter, and then you adjust with the aiming marker. Uh, you adjust with the aiming marker to center uh, to the center of the release window. Man, they saying all this stuff. You just just pull it down, man. That's what they saying. Pull it down. You got to, uh, You know, to the right or the left of the shot meter and adjust it. Let me see. For for next gen, the stick speed also can also now controls the arc of the jump shot. What? The stick beam control the arc of the jump shot slow flicks will give you an extra extra high arc while fast flicks will will make your shot flat. Well, I guess all my shots going to be flat cuz that's how I do it. I flick it fast. Um it feels really good to be able to it feels really good to be able to have the extra bit of control over how you shoot and also a lot of uh, a lot of fun sitting in the in the practice gym. I don't know, man. They might be doing too much on that. Uh chunking Chucking, chucking rainbows. You also you also get a small bonus for uh, for shooting with an ideal shot arc. What? So it's so it's important to be mindful of the tempo uh, of your initial stick through a uh, stick stick throw. I guess that's a new that's a new term. That's why I'm, I'm having trouble with a stick throw to make sure that make sure you eat, make sure you give yourself the best chance at at making all uh, the shots. So they're just saying that you can give yourself a better chance at making a shot by snatching it down or whatever bro i'm sitting here like um uh are we doing too much with this the shot arc is controlled by if i snatch it down it's gonna be a line drive and if i pull it down slowly but then how am i gonna be able to control it to the left or to the right will i still have that ability i don't know i mean i could get used to that that's something look i got used to the shot stick i mastered this thing like this man look at that cash excellent timing so you know i mean i, I did that so I, I i can figure this out too uh, we're gonna have a lot of videos on that and all that too. I'm gonna help you guys with that if you guys are interested. But you know it is what it is. Bank side control, fast flicks, fast flicks, or slightly, or slightly aiming in the direction of the backboard. Okay, that's cool. Um, will will also allow you to control bank shots. So if you want to emulate Dwayne Wade, Tim Duncan, it's now much easier uh, for you to for you to do that. This works on layups too. This has been working on layups. I've noticed if I go to the hole and I got it on, you know, and I'm wide left, it'll hit the backboard and go in. Uh, it seems like it seems like a tiny detail, but I love being able to control whether I drop in a layup directly into the hoop uh, versus put it off to the side, put it off the window, uh, put it off the window. It's a cool control that that's never been uh, in a basketball game before, and that's definitely right, man. Hold on, did I shoot that? What, what did I shoot that from? Was y'all able to see me? cash that because y'all need to see all my pro stick prowess man y'all need to be seeing all of my pro stick prowess this is what i do oh yeah i was on the other side you know it is what it is so you can shoot bank shots says you'll be able to shoot bank shots a lot easier man and uh that's gonna be cool man so up next we said shot meter the shot meter is is such an important tool for the shot meter is such an important tool for shooting for next gen for next gen gets a new look and plays bigger uh, plays a bigger role in your shot makes and misses. The new presentation is much more re readable. Okay, that's cool then. Uh, really pops against really pops against various uh, courts and floors and no longer scales in, in world space, meaning it won't be really small if you are far away from the camera in the camera view. Hey, that's cool right there, right? Like like uh, if you're if you've got like cause you know you might have a I might I, I play on 10-3. So like sometimes it is, it might it might end up being small. Man, look at this. Look at me mastering this shot meter, man. This thing, this is a thing of beauty. Woo, centered and slightly. But uh, but anyway, like I said, it, it just goes on to say that uh the shot meter will make the will make 
the shot meter make window is now blue okay and will glow and, sh and will grow and shrink dynamically based on how good of a shooter you are okay that's good the degree of difficulty of the shot and how well you're defended that's actually dope but that already happened somewhat with the shot stick but next then if you miss a, if you miss the window completely it means you missed the shot <laughs> Hell, everybody asking for greens only greens to go in yeah here it is right here this is where we at. If you missed the window, you missed the shot. Boom, that's it. Then it didn't say if you hit the window, you hit the shot. It just said if you missed the window, you missed the shot. Um, Let me see. You missed the window, you completely missed the shot. Uh, the black notch in the middle of the of the make window is the ideal timing. Okay, so if you missed the window, you'll completely miss the shot, but that's just the timing window. The black notch is actually the green window, so so that's cool right there. I, I can dig it. Um. That's how it is for us right there. If I miss the window, I'm gonna miss the shot. But if I hit the window, then nine times out of 10, I'm gonna hit the shot. Um, if I, t provided that I time it right. It's not a free license. Getting it inside the window is not a free license to miss time the shot. So that's how it is. Um, let me see the black knots in the middle. There's a control setting. Uh, let me see, you, you must hit it precisely. You must hit it precisely for the uh, coveted green. Okay, so it says if you don't hit it, if you don't hit it, you're not getting the green, but you can still make shots. Uh, you can uh, you can get customized with the visual effects and plays and set the randomize um, set the randomize between different different options. Uh, turn it off if you like if you like the clean screen. And then it says uh, the changes that we make the changes that we made here. Let's just switch it over one second. Let me, let me, and I, I want to I want y'all to see right quick before we do switch it over that I have mastered this shot stick, man. Just take it. And for one, some reason, centers don't like the guard centers, man. It just is what it is. I ain't got I ain't got nothing to do with that, man. You know, you playing out here and people just want to leave centers open. They want to leave centers open. This before I even had all my badges and stuff too. So this is some of that footage where like this is early shot stick, Jay. This is before they even changed it the first time. So you know it is what it is. But uh. Hey, there we go, uh, seven for seven, five for five. But anyway, let's just get on to what what they're talking about. Uh, what they're talking about up here. Uh, I'm watching Mars on Netflix. Uh, bro, y'all need to check that out. That, that's that's dope. It's a dope. It's a dope joint. But anyway, uh, so check it out. Uh, continuing on, it just says that between the difference between the different options, uh, or turn it off if you like a clean screen. Uh, the changes that the changes that we made here make it much easier for us to help players understand the difference between a good and a poor shot and and also uh shows and also allows us to retune sh uh shooting to accommodate the wide variety variation of skill levels uh, of the community now the funny thing is that it's all that it's like this for shot for shot stick users if you're a shot stick user you already know that when you shoot the ball and somebody's bearing down on you, that joint shrinks and we can't, and, and you know, it's really hard to aim it. And then at that point in time, if you don't hit the black notch and green it, the shot's not going in. It's probably not gonna go in. Even if you do hit it, sometimes it doesn't turn green. Before people started cheating, you could guide it there yourself and you could still get a green if somebody was bearing down on you. Now, you can't really get a green if somebody bearing down on you anymore because, you know, people cheated, they had to ruin it for everybody. And the people with the natural ability, they had to, you know, it's, it's gone for us, man. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, touch around the rim. We, we're probably not gonna read this whole touch around the rim thing, but we're just gonna go. Uh, layup timing is something that, that many people, I mean, that many players have struggled struggle to master not if you're using the shot stick you just get it in the middle and it goes in i can make layups with a 45 layup contested and and i can do it because i've mastered the shot stick y'all need to start using shot stick but you know mike telling y'all that here by telling y'all that this is the first thing every layup has a different release point and you must have really good reaction time uh in order to nail it in order to nail down the meter as a result layup timing was reduced to have a very nominal effect in uh in current gen to prevent people from getting frustrated like the game was in the beginning where you couldn't make layups and then they changed it i don't know why they keep uh i, I understand why they keep why they keep uh uh you know make catering to casuals and, and people that really haven't put in the time because everybody don't have the time that i have to go master something like that so i, I get it i get why they stopped making layups get blown like they were but anyway uh it was it was frustrating for next gen we decided to disable layup timing on the shot button by what disable layup timing by shot on the shot button by default so that players can just focus on taking taking it to the rim with the right with the right players at the right time what 
They disabling. Okay. But for elite guards who strive to finish at the rim, like Steph Curry or Kyrie or Biggs who want to show off uh, their, joke, their Jokic, uh, Jokic like touch around the rim, we've redesigned the layup timing and aiming uh, meters to be completely under your control, under the control of the player. That means, that means if you enable the timing and aiming, okay, so you can turn it on, but you, you know, if, you, if you enable timing and aiming, layups, and, uh, timing and aiming of layups and have, a, have the stick skill to master it, you'll have a huge advantage in finishing touch. And I can already tell you that's the case with, like I said, when I go to the rim, I go to the rim with a 40 layup and most of the time I'm making the shot regardless of who's down there because I'm able to aim it and time it. So, I mean, I, I, okay, that's a good trade off, man. Um, let me see, finishing touch, contact, contested layups uh contact contested layups over those who choose to not use it but that advantage comes with a risk and that risk is uh you miss if you miss the make window uh let's see it's possible it's possible for you to blow easy bunnies if you if you lose focus yes it definitely is with the shot stick i can't even lie to you i think it's a great solution for every for everybody and i'm happy that uh that we can widen the skill gap for slashes and bigs that's cool man because like uh, i just don't want people that are not using time and to make layups at the same clip as as i am if i'm aiming it properly that's all i'm really asking for if you're gonna do something like this we gotta really put the skill gap so maybe all of this skill gap talk that they were talking about it's gonna be in next gen and they just didn't they neglected to tell us that they didn't tell us that it's gonna be in it they never said it's gonna be in current gen because it's like the defensive styles and the defensive stances and stuff like that i'm, I'm not seeing that in current gen um you know but you know it is what it is Lamps themselves are are received uh received uh small important upgrades our engineers spent a lot of time improving layup selection uh to detect defensive uh defensive threats and smart and smartly choose the one the most open layup uh when standing under the hoop yeah i mean that's cool because you know sometimes you go up with it and, and they they will get i have noticed if you use the button that they give you a stronger layup but if you use the the right stick he will go up and and do some stuff like that but you got to hit it in the middle for it to get it uh let me see exactly where let me see let's see what we got though and if you if you want to take full control we've also improved the ability to finish exactly where you want by pushing the pro stick in the proper direction uh these are great tools for the bigs that helps them a much more it may, helps to be much more efficient down low uh you'll also see fewer can finishes and uh contact animations put pulling you to the wrong side of the hoop yeah that's cool the cpu also does a much better job at recognizing the appropriate spot uh to finish so you'll have you so you have to ramp up your paint defense uh to slow them down it already doing that it seems like they put that in the game on this joint uh, you'll also see a lot of great new content including new standing layups advanced advanced hop euro spin gathers uh let's see great uh quick quick floaters i do the floaters i'm a flotation device all the way uh quick floaters to beat the buzzer and more all right so let's see what else we got we got a lot of stuff man shot creators i'm probably not gonna read all of this man but you know uh we've completely revamped all the all the off dribble jumpers uh, for all you Tysinos out there, we've, we've completely revamped all the off-dribble jumpers and added new signature packages for key players like LeBron James and Luka Doncic. These new jump, these new jump shot packages are beautiful as they are, are as beautiful as they are effective and are greatly a great weapons for shot creators. Pull-ups have pull-ups have been separated into two categories. Okay, cool. Controlled a controlled and high momentum. Uh, control pull-ups for feet better and for oh, pull-ups set your control pull-ups set your feet better and um, and more balanced while high momentum pull-ups uh, trigger by holding the sprint. So you hold the sprint button, you'll do one of those. Uh, let's see, create more separation from the defense, but are tougher to knock down. I like that. So just like real life, it's important to it's important to shoot under control and get your feet underneath you. I like that. But skill players such as skill players can also pull off tough fading shots over defenders like Kobe or Mike, which they never really did. That they did more of the controls. They come in and then they put their feet. You slant. You 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 you, you stop hard. Put all the pressure like right here on your quads, and then you pull up. It's not like you never seen them do straight running fades. It's always run up and then hop hop stop or one dribble pull up. Put all the pressure on your quads, and then you're pulling up, and then you're just putting the ball right in the rim, man. But you know it is what it is. Three-point line recognition. There are some great nuances that we that we're able to capture 
uh, thanks to the next gen hardware. The next gen hardware probably won't make everything look better, but it gives you more processing power so the game can think more. That's really what we that's really what that's what I'm thinking that we're gonna see in the next gen more than anything. Uh, let me see. They added computational uh, computational the added computational power uh, allowed our engineers to upgrade our in inverse kinetics the IK and uh, and foot planning technology more on more on that later to both make our jump shots uh, our jump shot gathers feel more grounded and also improve three point rec three point line recognition in the past you you'd either slide back for the three point uh, shot which which looked pretty bad or step on the line for a long two and we know we hate long twos and missed threes around here but now we adjust now we adjust our feet uh placement in real time when you're when you're near the when you're near the line to uh to ensure that you no longer that no longer happens that's great so you don't have to when when brute throw me one of them flashy passes and it snatches me in and i don't want to shoot the ball there i don't have to sit there and take three seconds to back up and then my guy's doing all this stuff right here and then i'm trying to shoot the ball because i want to shoot a three instead of a two so now when he throw me one of those flashy passes He's just gonna take his foot and put it behind the line, and I'll get to shoot it. So that'll be cool, man. But now, let me see. Now we are just feet placement in real time, and you're now and you're near the line uh, to ensure uh, to ensure that it no longer happens. It looks very natural and um, and a relief for shooters that sh that for shooters to know that they're they'll be credited uh, for the three instead of taking those clutch shots. Whatever, man. Anyway, pro stick dribbling. On the ball, on, on the ball, on the ball handling front, a lot of dribble heads were very excited about the new moves and uh, improved combo chaining in current gen. I architected. Does he say I? Do you say I? Did you, or is it we architected? Anyway, uh, I architected the system, and and even I am amazed. Okay, so he said I created the system, and not and even I'm amazed at what some of you are able to pull off uh, on the sticks. You'll be you'll be happy to know that the move that the moves you worked so hard on uh, to master are also available in next gen, but to an even greater degree. So you're going to want to so you're going to want to get into the into the lab, hone your skills, and try out these uh, exciting additions. That's going to be dope, man. You know, with the size up, stroke and speed, next gen. I mean, I'm I'm just going to have to read. Look, bro, we got way too much in here, man. Look. It's way too much. I'm probably gonna read the first sentence and then we're gonna keep on going. I can't read this whole thing. We 22 minutes in, man. Uh, pro stick drip. What was it? Pro stick dribbling. Size up. Uh, size up speed. Next gen is next gen has given us the opportunity to add an, an interesting feature to ball handling that we never that we never had before. The ability to control the speed of your size up moves. Uh, your size up moves on how slowly or quickly you flick the uh you flick okay so that's cool you can come in fast you can come in hot like hot sauce dribbling that thing maybe i will read this whole thing great ball handlers great ball handlers do not i mean don't don't just have one gear that's true they have the ability to change speed uh change speed and give defenders so many uh so many different looks that it makes it difficult to stay in front of them that's what brute does that's how he does he don't just do one thing he changes gears that's what t mizzle does too uh, let me see. Now you have the ability. Now you have the ability to. It's so cool to be able to to slowly rock the rock the stick back and forth for a slow rhythm size up, and then quickly change pace with some of with some rapid crossover change. That's gonna be dope. Uh, mixing these together with the signature size ups uh, holds hold R2 uh, hold right stick up, and new signature new signature escape moves gives dribblers an insane number of combos to pull off in nba 2k 21 next gen and wait till you see some of the new ankle breaker animations we've added this year uh they're going to they're going to make make for some very entertaining videos that i am sure will make it to top plays and uh 2k tv so that's gonna be cool you're gonna be in it and then back up and then bah, 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 and then back up and then you know kind of like how Kyrie. you know how Kyrie do he size you up come in slow bah, 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 step back and stuff like that so that's gonna be cool sauce signature moves uh there there's a whole lot of new signature dribble moves created i mean uh move content for next gen lebron gets the gets the suspended what the hell gets a suspended dribble that works oddly well in real life and james harden gets a quicker between the legs sequence among others 
And if you check out the step back signature moves, you can all you can now equip signature quick stops. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Performed by tapping the left trigger or, or what have you. And we uh, as well as several new lateral step backs. That's gonna be cool because you know I, I I step to the side in real life. Uh, these are these are probably my favorite. These are probably my favorite moves to use this year. As you see as you see them all the time in the NBA. That's cool. Park handles. Oh my God, the dreaded park handles. Did we take them out of the game? Park handle moves will now be put <laughs> now be pulled off by clicking the L3 and are now tied the Hall of Fame tight handles back. The, the Hall of Fame's tight handles badge. So if you find yourself accidentally rolling on the floor while breaking down the defense, the, the defense in the park, try dropping tight handles down a tier. Okay, so you can now take tight tight uh the park dribbles all the way off. That's dope. Triple threat. One of the first things your one of the first things your coach on when learning how to play basketball is to use the is the use of the triple threat. Uh, let's see, it, it's it's a fundamental skill that all players need to have, need to have. But but players like Carmelo Anthony, it's also a bread and butter of scoring one on one. You know ain't right. One of the best scores in the game. NBA 2K21 triple threat game got some serious upgrades in next gen. There's a host of new moves and and first step launches at your disposal. Hesitation escape step backs hard goals and crosses uh if you've seen if you've seen it pulled off in the nba chances are you can pull it off in the game and all and just like the size ups the pro stick speed control the, the pro stick speed control works in the triple threat in the triple threat too so you can have full control of both the direction and the speed of of the direction and the speed of your rocker of your rocker jabs. Okay, that's cool. So I can jab fast, so I can jab slow. Take you fast or in slow motion. Oh, the rocker jabs fakes uh, by how by how slowly you you quickly, how slowly or quickly you flick the stick. That's cool, man. They gotta, they gotta come up with a better turn than flicking the stick though, man. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Passing, passing received some great improvements. Uh, some great improvements in the, in the, in the jump to next gen as well. For starters, our physics, our physics guru, Y'all got group working for y'all. I knew y'all had group working for y'all. Our physics guru engineer rewrote our ball physics code um, to improve bounce passes, uh, bounce bounce locations, uh, especially on long passes. Looks looks on long passes looks much more accurate to the real life, and uh, the ball can be the ball can be can the ball can respect spin and floor friction. Oh, can respect can respect spin and floor friction in in a more realistic manner so can i skeet it off the floor like jason uh like jason uh kid used to do he used to throw them to some don't some of the mean bounce passes leave it like if you used to like just a kid bounce passes uh let me see to add to it our physics improvement now all now allow players to throw a bounce pass throw bounce alley oops like curry so you can bounce that joint off the floor can i bounce it off the floor to myself well you can already do that but you can throw a bounce alley oop that's gonna be dope uh like they did in the all-star game uh, a couple of years ago our ball physics uh our ball physics rewrite also gave us a a marked improvement in throwing alley-oops off the glass to teammates as well as the addition of the bounce touch passes um you know for for the first time in 2k so a bounce touch pass i just want my regular touch passes to be a little bit faster that's what i need uh in 2k basketball these are definitely going to to be some of the most entertaining highlights from uh from our park and blacktop fans. NBA 2K21 release, uh, introduces a slightly different lead pass uh, mechanic for you. So that's gonna be dope for you playmakers. So you can lead people to the to the rim with it. Uh, now simply tapping triangle, tapping triangle or Y will lead your teammate to the hoop out of uh, or around the perimeter uh, to get behind the three point line. Okay, so you can tap Y and tell him it, it's kind of, okay, that's gonna be dope. Uh, let me see three-point line based on their court position and um and current movement thank goodness let me see if you if you see a teammate flash to the hoop you can quickly feed him the ball uh for a quick dunk with the simple with the simple button press holding the lead pass holding the lead pass button works like the regular uh regular pass does now because we hold a for lead pass now and then you can you can kind of pointed at who you want to but uh you know allowing you to target further away receivers for a skip pass uh skip pass lead to the basket perfect for long outlet passes uh to 
to finish on the break. So that's cool. Pass accuracy and transition into the passes and catches from general movement are also much smoother now. Similarly, similarly, uh, it's catch, <laughs> catch reliability is greatly improved across the board, uh, especially in the trick, in tricky situations like catching near the sidelines or in the corner of the court. I wonder if they're gonna take out that goofy animation when you jump and he just reaches out, but he's supposed to go out of bounds, but his momentum don't carry him out. I wonder if they're gonna take that out. But uh, we've uh, we've also implemented a new a new launch system for better response time and smoother look when uh, transitioning from a from a catch to a drive. Passing and catching feel uh, feel fantastic next gen, and it's definitely going to open up the floor and reward teams that move the ball effectively. Because that's what we say. No matter what happens, you get you get in the park, you got a lot of people spreading around. Me, Gambit, and Brute always say you can't move faster than the ball. Let me see, and uh, that's that about covers it for this week. But don't worry, we're 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 just getting started. Stay tuned for NBA NBA courtside report, um, where we'll talk about where we we'll talk about some of the great tech that went. I mean, some of the great tech that we built for 2K uh, NBA 2K21 next gen. See you soon. And uh, that's signed Mike Wong, aka Baluba, man. And that's really all we got for y'all today. It's a damn enough, ain't it, man? Look, a 30 minute video for me to read that to y'all. Y'all gonna win and read it yourself? Anyway, but some of y'all at work and you can't really read it by yourself and you gotta worry about my stumbling ass reading, stammering, and all that stuff. Certified genius, and I suck at reading out loud. It is what it is, man. But uh, I'm gonna holler at y'all next time, man. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. And um, are y'all happy for the pro stick? Are y'all not happy? Do you really care? Do you don't care? I want to know what y'all think. And let me know what you think, man. I'm out of y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Champ. Guys, please.